Hello from San Jose, California. This is a video I've wanted to make for a very long time. Today we are flying the Piaggio P180 Avanti. Let's go to work, baby. Piaggio is definitely one of the more unique, capable, and distinct aircraft around. We'll dive into that more in flight. Let's hit the road. Come back here, get some light in the cabin. Make sure all the seat belts are looking nice and organized. There we go. Alright guys, let's go flying. Close lights out, lock and load it, baby. Let's do it. All right, guys, welcome aboard the Piaggio P180. Just waiting on a line guy to show up, and we'll uh, fire this old girl off. Okay, ITT's rising. Good start on the right. All right guys, that's a good start. Welcome aboard the Piaggio P180 Avanti. Today we're flying from San Jose down to John Wayne, Orange County. San Jose Ground, Piaggio 360, Mike Charlie, Atlantic, ready to taxi. Piaggio 360, Mike Charlie, San Jose Ground, runway 30 left to Delta, taxi via Victor Delta. Victor Delta, 30 left to Delta, zero Mike Charlie. Victor Delta, 30 left. Piaggio 360, Mike Charlie, San Jose, Charlie, you up and ready? Ready to go, here, Mike Charlie. Here, Mike Charlie, traffic, four mile final, Airbus, wind 310, and then runway 30 left to Delta, clear for takeoff. Take out 30 left to Delta, here, Mike Charlie. Well, All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, power set, steering's off. Speed's alive, two good engines, there's 105, she's ready to go. Tower stop with 466 on the RNM. Got a positive Control brake, gears coming up. Auto feather sink. Flaps are coming up. Auto amps on. 466. Space flight 4 San Jose Tower, San Jose Altimeter 2995, I dent, please. What a beast of an airplane. Piaggio 360, Mike Charlie, contact NorCal, departure, you have a safe flight. Hey, day, we'll see you soon, Mike Charlie. Departure, Piaggio 360, Mike Charlie, 800, climbing 5,000. 360, Mike Charlie, NorCal, departure, hello, you're in contact, maintain 5,000. 5,000, Mike Charlie. And we're off, just like that. Takeoff checks are good. Piaggio, zero Mike Charlie, climb 18 flat level, 190. 190 Piaggio, zero Mike Charlie. Up to 19, 190 set. NorCal experimental 428 kilo whiskey, 4,500. Experimental 428 kilo whiskey, NorCal approach, altimeters 2995. 2995 kilo whiskey. All right, where do I even start with this airplane? The Piaggio is definitely one of the most unique, um, underappreciated airplanes in existence. Um, just from a pilot's perspective, from an aerodynamics standpoint, it is just all around amazing. I guess I'll just start with some basic facts and features about this airplane. Um, it's the fastest jet prop in the world. They say 400 knots. Um, I don't run it that hard. I pull it back. I typically see about 370 to 380, but it is extremely fast for a turboprop. And you're only burning about 90 to 100 gallons an hour, again, based off the power settings. So super economical. Um, blows a jet out of the water in terms of those numbers. And it's also capable of flight level 410, which is kind of it's what we cruise at in the G4 most of the time. So you're above all the weather. 
Um, it's just insane. Uh, but it likes the mid 30s. Like today, we're going up to 350. That's where it's pretty comfy at. But the fact that it, it its service ceiling is 41 is just mind blowing to me. Just looking at the airplane, per perhaps the first thing you notice and the most obvious is the forward wing. Um, gives it gives it that catfish look. Hence the nickname. Notice how I said forward wing. It is not a canard. Um, it is a forward wing with movable flaps that move in conjunction with the main wing. It counts for 18% of the lift. Um, the fuselage actually accounts for 20 to 30% of the lift. So those two combined allow the main wing to be 34% shorter, which also reduces drag, uh, contributing to the amazing speed capabilities of the Piaggio. The forward wing is pitched down so that it stalls before the main wing. So there's basically, you, you, don't, you can't stall this airplane. It's, it's pretty amazing. The airplane itself is built to such fine tolerances that they say if you have if you have bugs on the leading edge, it could slow you down because any imperfection can affect uh, the airflow over the fuselage and, and the wing. And perhaps the other unique feature, just by looking at the airplane, are the engines. They're mounted backwards, again contributing to the aerodynamic efficiency of this airplane. We got two PT68-66Bs. Yeah, Thirty-five three, good day, Mike Charlie. Center Piaggio 360, Mike Charlie 344, climb in 350. Piaggio 360, Mike Charlie, LA 700. So we got two five bladed counter rotating propellers. The left propeller turns clockwise, the right propeller turns counterclockwise. And having the props backwards creates no disturbance over the wing itself, uh, again, contributing to that uh, efficiency. We have anti ice capabilities in this airplane. We have an electrically heated forward wing. The main wing is heated um, by bleed air and the propellers are heated by the exhaust. So quite literally, the exhaust warms the propeller blades and we don't need any prop heat. However, it does get it pretty dirty, so it's important to clean those regularly, again, because that could degrade performance. We have an incredible nine PSI pressurization system providing a 6,000 foot cabin altitude at 41,000 feet and sea level up to about 24,000. So again, amazing for this kind of airplane. Uh, the G4, for example, is 9.8, so it's pretty close to that. And as you can see, I'm flying it single pilot. It's a single pilot airplane. It's very single pilot friendly. The layout is very well done. It's everything is accessible. It's organized nicely. They really kept the pilot in mind when designing this airplane. Um, it's it's super fun to fly. And it also does not require a type rating. The max ramp weight is 12,100 pounds. Of course, most insurance companies require some sort of initial and then annual recurrent training. But in terms of getting ink on your certificate, you do not need one for this airplane, uh, which is which is amazing. Other than that, passengers love it. It's got a super spacious cabin. Um, they say at its widest point, it's larger than its than a Citation 10. So uh, it's got an extremely large and quiet cabin. Um, obviously, with the engines mounted backwards, all the noise goes behind us. So um, it's super quiet back there. I can even fly it up here without a headset and just use the, the hand mic and be able to talk to my co-pilot at a normal tone. Uh, that's how quiet it is in here. But uh, all around, a super amazing aircraft. We can dive even deeper in the next episode. Comment any questions you have that you want me to answer about this airplane. I wish parts were a little easier to find. Um, that's been an issue. But in terms of capabilities, absolutely amazing. So we're already only 35 minutes out from our destination of John Wayne. We'll uh, check back in with you guys on the descent. We're flying the OC2 arrival into John Wayne. And it's a beautiful VFR day. You can't beat days like this. So uh, super excited to have you guys along. We'll see you on the descent into John Wayne. guys just beginning our descent into John Wayne via the OC2 arrival picked up the ATIS beautiful VFR day down there Mike Charlie contact LA Center 132.6 326 Mike Charlie Center Piaggio 360 Mike Charlie 286 descending via the OC with Romeo Number 360 Mike Charlie Los Angeles Center the Los Angeles altimeter 
Nine Nine or Zero. Nine Zero, thanks. All right. So we're currently descending via, and I have it set up in the FMS so that all the altitudes are plugged in on the arrival that correspond with the arrival. So there's a V path, a vertical path set up where the airplane is going to follow that descent rate and hit each of those waypoints at that specified altitude as specified on the arrival. So I don't do anything. I just have to verify that the altitudes in the box correspond with what are on the plate, which they do. So we just sit back and let the computer do its thing. Then checks are complete. Cabin's coming down nicely. Pressurization, super easy. All you have to do is set the landing airport elevation, and it does everything on its own. Super awesome. So Cal Piaggio 360, Mike Charlie, is that a 15,000 descending via with uh, Romeo? Zero right, Mike Charlie, so Cal Approach, runway 20 transition, John Wayne altimeter is 2988. Zero Mike Charlie. Beautiful Catalina Island straight ahead. Three six zero Mike Charlie, contact approach one two seven point two good day. Twenty seven two Mike Charlie, good day. So Cal Piaggio 360, Mike Charlie, six thousand six hundred. Descending uh, via with Romeo. Yeah, go three six zero Mike Charlie, several approach, expect the ILS and two zero right approach. ILS two zero right, zero Mike Charlie. All right, passing Laxby. We got to slow it up two hundred because we're just about to go underneath the Bravo. If you ever on this arrival approaching Laxby, let that be a reminder to slow down two hundred. Because you're about to go into the Bravo. Yeah, go zero Mike Charlie, contact approach one two one point three. Two one three Mike Charlie, see ya. So Cal 360, Mike Charlie, 5,000. 7360, Mike Charlie, so call approach, watch X, the globe in about 10 miles. Mike Charlie. Piaggio 0, Mike Charlie, turn running 080. Right turn 080, Mike Charlie. Piaggio 0, Mike Charlie, gonna be following King and off your right on final of Lemon, 4 miles at 2,300 descending. Alright, looking 0, Mike Charlie. Number 0, Mike Charlie, 4 miles from Lemon, maintain 3,000 until established on the localizer, cleared ILS, runway 20, right approach. 3,000 till established, clear ILS 20, right, Zero Mike Charlie. All right. Number 999 X ray, altitude, did you discuss on? 1299 X ray, altitude, did you discuss on? Oaks captured. Piazza Zero Mike Charlie, Don Wayne Tower, 1268, have a good day. Good day, Zero Mike Charlie. Target F name Piaggio, 360 Mike Charlie, ILS 20, right. Number 360, Mike Charlie, John Wayne Tower, Mike, 2 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 2 right, Zero Mike Charlie. All right. Okay, we got three of the green flaps coming mid. Auto feather arm sink is off. Clear to land. All right, we got three of the green flaps are full, yacht amps away. Props are full forward. Speed's looking good. On path, on glide, and we're visual. 500. Minimum's continuing, runaways in sight. Station 3 Bravo Golf, runway 20 right, line of flight, traffic 4 mile final. Line of flight 20 right, Bravo Golf. Casual Zero Mike Charlie, stay park. Clay Lazy. Casual Zero Mike Charlie, turn right at Foxtrot, contact ground. Right at Foxtrot, over ground, Zero Mike Charlie. Station 3 Bravo Golf, runway 2 0 right, cliff takeoff. Takeoff, 2 right, 2 right. Ground 360 Mike Charlie, taxi Clay Lacey. Number 360 Mike Charlie, John Wayne, ground taxi Clay, CV Bravo. Bravo to Clay, Zero Mike Charlie. Alright guys, welcome to John Wayne, that's a wrap at the Piaggio. 
Hope you enjoyed that little introduction to this airplane. We'll dive even deeper in next time. Comment your questions. We'll dive into this airplane together. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed yet another new airplane to this channel. Hopefully we keep flying uh, more different types as we go along. Stay tuned. we got a lot of fun adventures coming up in the Gulfstream as well as this. It'd be fun. Downwind ground, hold for a citation, left to right, stand runway 20 right, taxi Alpha.